All right, next time it is. You know, we're right in range. These guys are definitely a valid, you know, um, area to attack. I, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna take this stuff and, uh, settle it, you know, uh, maybe just get a bunch of untainted in the region. So just a buffer, so really. Impatient. Let's do it. I mean, they're gonna come for us eventually. Attack. You know, that's a guarantee. Absolutely. Um, they're not friendly. And I do want to take this beast, beastman army out. Uh, do I care? Battle. I don't care enough. A regret that was, mm, see, look at that. That's not reasonable. 57, fuck you, game. Man, see, that's why you don't auto-resolve. We'll just raise this. I shouldn't have done that. I should have occupied it. Why am I stupid? Add. <laughs> it's gonna make taking that a lot harder. I just wanted a handicap, obviously. That was dumb. Okay, let's get smoke and mirrors, because that's a good ability, and... Um, Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Let's get our damage ability out. That's more important. Ooh, magic resistance 20% for a talisman. Mm. Not the worst idea for uh, for the sisters. Lots of physical and a bit of magic on top of it. Mm, yeah. We could give her Twilight Horn and reduce enemy leadership in the region. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Debuff the enemy morale. That's much more valuable on, like, a, a friendly... Whatever. <laughs> no armor. Maybe for Daith I'll start requesting equipment for her now. Because she needs some stuff. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, I thought about, you know, fighting that out, but, it, like, they had nothing. So I was like, yeah, I can do it. Dumbass game. That should not be happening. It is very obvious how much more powerful my army is. Alright. I could upgrade the tree even further. I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, this 15 grand is my war chest right now. This I don't want to give up all of my money when I'm only bringing in 831 per turn. Uh, we're going we're gonna to hold off. Damn. Annoying as hell. And then I raised it, too, instead of just occupying. I meant to occupy. That's what I said at the beginning of the video, is I was going to take those, but... Apparently, I disagree with myself. Sad. Oh, well. It happens. Misplays happen. Move on. What? Yeah, eventually they'll start giving us non-aggression packs, but I'm not going to pay you 1300 for a non-aggression pack, dude. You need to chill the fuck out. What's up? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so if I let them in, we'll have Chaos Crush plus 15 for five turns. Why would I ever get that? Creative Assembly, what the fuck? It's powerful, I guess. It's okay. Like, yeah, it's gonna, it really fucks with people's morale, but. Permanent Chaos Corruption of plus four on anyone who uses it? I would never get... I don't care how good it is. Even this... That's that's almost as bad as, like, the Sword of Cain, man. That's worse than the Sword of Cain. What the fuck? Plus 15 for your whole faction for five turns? Yeah, fuck my whole faction for the sword that's not as good as the Sword of Cain. Yeah, whatever. It's stupid. We'll deny the request, and that'll heal my regions of Untainted over the next five turns. That's pretty good. The alternative option is okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Enfeebling Foe could be really good, but I'll go ahead and get our uh, spell buff. 12% speed for everyone in the entire map every oh, time I cast. Pretty good. Level 3 Kar Klar Karan. I'm surprised the garrisons are so low. Maybe I'm used to... Maybe in uh, SFO, bloodshed. in Grimhammer, the garrisons are higher. It's probably the case. I'm not used to being able to take these so easily. To battle, sister. 
I would really like to have a tree man or something in this army so that we don't have to wait for a battering ram to take down uh, a settlement. Fight for the forest. I'm used to having more powerful lords that can knock down walls and stuff. But still upgrade this. This this might not be the worst time to do this. We have a good amount of money. 8,000, you know, 16,000. 10 turns to wait. We can still raise an emergency army if we have to. So, yeah, that's, that seems okay. Burn another turn out. I would like to take Clark Arond in this video at least. See what the hell this uh, unique settlement building is. Um, hopefully it's not just the exotic animals I was finding in uh, the, the wiki, because it's not. It's not a special building chain. Usually it'll be like a special, like uh, it'll buff a certain kind of unit and let you recruit them, like Great Eagles or something along those lines. Uh, yeah. It's warning us that there will eventually be a chaos invasion, which, you know, yeah, it's part of the game. The forest's vengeance. This balance of power is very wrong. We are way more powerful than them. Again, the, the game is auto-resolve, and I've heard this from many people, and I, I think it's kind of accurate. The game's like auto-resolve chances and uh, balance of power for the whole campaign. Like, doesn't take into account archers very well. I don't know if, like, the, the auto-resolve, like, the, it, it just treats them as, like, weak infantry combatants or, or what it is exactly, but they seem to take more casualties than they should. They seem to not get as many kills as they should. They don't seem to matter for auto-resolving, which is really strange. As I said, sometimes it just looks like like your AI general just decided to go die. Like, how exactly in that auto-resolve where the enemy had two units of archers, how did these archers take all of this damage? It's not possible. It's just not. <laughs> Never happened in a million years. Now for this, maybe, because we're going to, whatever, because we're going to get shot by uh, turrets here, you know, but no, <laughs> like, stop. You're bad and you should feel bad. Pretty good air force here uh, with our, uh, with our volleys of Kernus, which are going to be great. Uh, with the sisters too, and all of their physical resistance is going to be great. I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to just put the sisters just into their faces pretty much as soon as the battle starts. Uh, the Hawk Riders are going to uh, do a couple different volleys, probably on maybe separate archer units. The Eagle will probably accompany Nastra because you saw the last time I did this, I was able to snipe someone pretty easily. Um, let's organize everyone because there's a lot going on. There we go. Okay, now I can think. We'll just toss our other Eternal Guard here. Let's uh, not charge our mage up at the very beginning like we did before. Let's wait for the um, the the walls to come down or something. Our dryads actually are going to essentially do that. Um, we're going to target a couple points on the walls and just uh, swarm them with ladders at the beginning. And that'll make things a little easier. In fact, I'll do that with these spears as well. Um, I guess. Now for the archers, they're going to do what what I usually have them do in this situation, which is I'm going to form them into blocks. Pretty pretty thin blocks, because uh, I want them to really focus their fire on this area. As you can see, they can all target right here, which is where I want the damage to go for the most part. Stag Knights, um, this time I'm actually going to hold them back. Uh, I want to keep them, because they're going to be really important if we fight the Beastmen next turn. Alright. Let's take a look at what we got and issue our orders. Black Arc Corsairs are interesting. Uh, dual sword infantry. Uh, they they get a little bit of uh, missile block with their swords, actually, which is neat. Let's see if I can pull up the information on them. Oops. Yep, yep. It's a little hard to get the information you need sometimes because it look it like. There we go. You gotta like finesse your mouse over onto them, or it'll switch over to some other unit, which is irritating. Murderous prowess. Interesting. So as they kill people, they get more abilities. That's a pretty significant little buff. Okay. I thought they got some weapon block. I, I, I guess they don't. Hmm. Has that changed? They have really good armor. That's really decent armor. Eighty. That's a uh, equal to our treekin. 
with a 36 melee attack. That, that's that's a pretty decent little unit. All right. Dread Spears. I, I might, you know, I'm, I'm so used to playing Grim Hammer. You know, that's probably a Grim Hammer thing that gave them a little missile block with their uh, swords. Kind of defeats their point. They're supposed to not have any. Dread Spears, of course. Dark Shards with shields. Those are the ones I want to target with my archers, with my uh, volleys of Kernus. Both of these. Yeah. Okay. Let's knock them down. That'll make our lives so much easier. Sure, those go off. They did. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to immediately send Nastra. In fact, I'm going to hide Nastra here for 25 seconds. Boom. And this recharges every 60 seconds. This is a great, great weapon we have now. Hell yes. And my eagle, I'm going to send my eagle in too, but I'm going to put my eagle kind of around. You know, let's 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 have the eagle take a circuitous route over here, and then he can go over here so he doesn't get shot so badly. And let's go ahead and issue our dryad orders before I forget. A lot of, lot of little bookkeeping things to take care of, you know. Um, make sure those are handled before we do anything else. Okay. Let's watch our uh, volleys go off here. Enemy fire. I forgot to move up my archers. <laughs> Knew I was forgetting something. There we go. Uh, let's move them up like here-ish. That should be in range, I think. You want them to not be like too in range because they have firing arcs. So if you mess up their firing arc and it's not quite like there, it, they, they won't get any good shots off. She's still hidden. So sh they should see her like right as she like snaps into them right right as she arrives next to them but I'm just gonna go murder the the death hag there's nothing they can do about it they can move their archers over this one this archer routed hell yes they're shooting the dryads but they're not gonna be super effective against the dryads and there's the eagle and now that that eagles kind of moved to the side here I'm gonna move the eagle in hell yeah so yeah nature's Nastra. The Sisters of Twilight. Nastra and Arahan. Is it Na Nastra? Does it say? Can I see their name here real quick? Doesn't say. I think it's Nastra. Anyway, they, they function as really good duelist and support units and everything. I'm, I'm liking the Lords. Really solid. Um, that is not in range. Is that even? That's not where I ordered them to go. They did that thing. Sometimes units will get... Con look at that. What are they doing? See that? Sometimes they get confused when you order them forward and they just decide instead to shuffle and not do what I told them to do and I'm not sure why. Okay, this time they chose to move. That's upsetting because that 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 is directly contributing to more ca uh, casualties on these dryads, which I did not want to be happening, but it's happening and there's nothing we can do about it. Sisters yeah, and basically <laughs> this death hack is gonna do nothing uh, to my eagles hilarious. These dryads are going down. Annoying. Highly annoying. Oh, I could have increased their speed. I could have increased Nastra's speed even further. Why do I keep calling her Nastra? It's the twins. There's two of them. There's not one. I'd love to kill her and get that morale penalty for them losing their lord. Yeah, the dryads are gone. Okay. They should return unless they die. In the pro Okay, that's not in range either. Shit. I've really fucked some of this up. Oh well. It happens. That's the life. But uh, we got this Lord Snipe, so I'm pretty happy with that. There's nothing they can do. See, they sent these spears in to uh, to counter them there, but <laughs> they're already dead. So, well done. And we're just going to go... <laughs> we're going to go invisible again. Fuck you. <laughs> Love it. Highly amusing. Yeah, that... That makes that uh, that upgrade to the eagle bow makes this an incredible weapon because we can just sneak all, all over the battlefield. Lovely. Okay, my archers are now in range. I'm gonna move them a smidge closer so that they have a bit more of a of a they can touch these dread spears. Then, oh, let's get my dryads out so that we don't lose the whole card. All right, my hawk riders. Ooh, my hawk riders are actually ready to uh, do another volley. So, 
Let's slap a volley into these Dread Spears, and I'll slap a volley into these Dread Spears. Bam. Get their infantry uh, regiments out of the way. And this unit came back here. I'm going to send the, the, the twins to go get rid of those for me. I'll send the Eagle, too. Just keep my Air Force together. Just air units like this just tend to not function too well on their own. They can get swarmed so easily, and I just like I like keeping Air Force units kind of together. I think they just do better like that. This should be about our over. Our Dryad Force is just really taking a pounding. Well, of course, they're going up against the Corsairs here. That's not surprising, then. They'll probably need a hand. Well, they should get the battle loss. Yeah, there you go. Army losses penalty went off. They, they lost too many men. Let's turn my Wood Elves around, so, my Archers around, so they don't shoot my own people. Let's end the battle so we don't take more casualties. Uh, bit of a mess. Bit of a mess. Archers got some kills. Dryads did okay. I think <laughs> the Eagle got that kill, I think. Got the uh, the General. Good, good. That's its job. It's a good duelist. But yeah, I like how the how the sisters are functioning, especially with their their items now. Um, upgraded by Daith, um, she can now like run around the field and hide. Um, I think the leader of Nagareth has similar abilities, uh, being able to like hide around and stuff, just inherent to his character. But he can't ride an eagle. And later on, I, at level twelve, they'll get a quest to ride a dragon, and that's. They'll be able to hide. <laughs> They'll be able to hide in midair on top of a dragon. I love this game. Bet you weren't expecting a sneaky dragon. Okay, I want to occupy because I want to see the building. You really was it really just a woodman's hut? Bored, so impatient. Why? <laughs> Is my question. You know what? We might actually make use of the abandoned settlement uh, option. I, I guess they don't. Surely they don't mean the timber because, um. Because that's not a strategic building. Like Hag Hall has a uh, has cattle, for example. So, and that's that that has more effect than. I guess the game's just wrong. I don't un understand really. That I don't I don't see the point. That's not usually how that works. But for example, uh, Paravon here has this strategic location, and I know for a fact that in the past, this strategic location would give you access to a Hawk Rider building that gave you better Hawk Riders. So has the DLC just like kind of overridden that feature or did Creative Assembly just forget? Because this is supposed to mean it's, it's special for your faction specifically. Like um, if I start off as Vlad von Karstein over here in a... Uh, if I start off as Vlad von Karstein over here um, by, what is it, Waldenhof, I think? Something like that. Castle Drakenhof, which uh, Manfred von Karstein will own, will show a strategic building chain. So I'm not really understanding. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and repair this, I guess. And we, we may just abandon the settlement, probably. Let it, let it fall into the ruin. Don't really care. Um, so we'll go ahead and take these out, I guess. Go ahead and eliminate this potential threat. Probably means these uh, orcs are gonna fill the power vacuum, though. I'm gonna have to go hunt down this this little settlement too, maybe. Overall, campaign-wise, not worth it. it. Sucks. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, reforge duration of two. Turns. Oh, I see. That's that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. Mm. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. 
Send me more. Very pleased. Um, with this next settlement upgrade, we might be campaigning over here for nine or ten turns. Yeah. With this next upgrade, we may uh, get a uh, smith and get an upgraded like archer chain building, and we might start replacing our glade guards with uh, deep wood scouts. I'm thinking. Deep wood scouts with swift shiver shards. I like a lot. What we got? Perfected dragon pendant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Why would you ever pick it? Why? <laughs> I don't understand. Why would you ever pick this? There's no reason to ever. I guess that's why it's under rework. I guess that's why it's being reworked because th there's no reason to use the bottom option ever. It's just not tempting enough. Why? Why would you do that? Dumb. Professionally dub in. Okay. Um. Yeah, whatever. We're going to sit here for a turn, I guess just one turn, and then we'll move on. Just, uh, mechanic's a little half-baked. Like, did anyone test that? Like, that's that's one of those things where I'm looking at that and I'm like, that's so clearly out of balance that no one would ever do that. They're moving an army down here. Did they have a stack? be kind of glad if they did, honestly. I'm kind of tired of playing whack-a-mole. Um, I guess that counts as a stack. Um, it's going to be a fairly even fight, actually. Okay, cool. Sweet. More income. More armor for everyone. Armor for everyone is a big, big deal. Yeah, that makes us a lot more efficient. A lot more effective. Um, I think Lore of Shadows cooldown minus is good. Ooh, Missile Resistance is good, too. Movement, ooh, all of this is good. I really want Speed Plus for everyone, but I think I'm willing to wait for the cooldown for our Mage, who really, I couldn't use in the last battle. She's not really good for Sieges, uh, especially when I was worried about getting shot to death by the Dark Elves. Um, but this, and then maybe I'll go down the Speed Path. Then maybe diplomacy in that other uh, campaign map movement range one. Uh, let's get enfeebling foe next. That can make uh, one of those units useless, which will be nice. Invincible. And let's start moving on the path to conquest here. And Aerial I think I will emissary. abandon this. I just don't. I don't care. Serene Nestor. Tempestuous. When do we I, 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 again, I don't know what the meta is here. It seems unwise to do that, but whatever. <laughs> Ariel blesses us with incomparable strength. Did you hear the music just stop? <laughs> it's like being all dramatic and shit, and it's like, ooh, never mind. Hang on. This isn't that dramatic. I'm going to fight this battle. Forest manually because I don't trust the game's auto resolve anymore. <laughs> this game's full of shit. Uh, I'll have to break the session pretty soon to uh, to have a bite to eat. How many videos have I done this session? Uh, like three? Three right now? Four. This is number four. Sweet. Sweet. I need to stop letting them run so long. <laughs> 24 wins of magic to start with is pretty damn good, and honestly, we shouldn't need anyone but archers uh, for this. Oh, with our hawk riders too. Mmm, mmm, good. Mmm, mmm, good. Let's hold our dryads. I'm not gonna use any dryads. Um, just don't want them to die. I need you, dryads. For the eternal realm. Go ahead and organize just so uh, for my peace of mind and my sanity. Have our eternal guard just in the back, just chilling like villains. Also, take a look at the scenery, I suppose. Cool, got some like dark elf towers. It's like a giant cavern. Neat. I don't think I've seen this map before, but I don't usually play uh, the campaign in this region of the world, so. 
if anything, the closest I ever get is like maybe high elves and then I go south with those, so. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me, I'll, I guess I'll put my stag knights out here just in case I need them. Put my eagle somewhere. I, I would like to use my mage a little bit. Perhaps. I might uh, speed boost her and get some magic off. So I was thinking of using this as like, you know, give her a speed boost and then send her out to do some, do some damage. Spell singer. So did they put anyone on the right? I don't see anyone, but they do have that hiding trait, so. Yeah, okay. In that case, I'll just use the sisters to scout because they'll be invisible until we're right on top of them, so. And we'll send her out too. I want her to get some kills, get some XP. Send these out too. We'll just leave our hawks where they are. As soon as we spot someone, we'll kill them. Ariel expects. Expects what? We should just kind of do a loop. <laughs> Be ready. Armor sundering? That's really not what I want on you. Here, do that. He's better. He's better. All right. We're out of range, huh? Does this increase the range? It does. All right. Boop. Put a miasma down on him. We're still hidden. They haven't actually spotted us yet. I'm sure they're going to, like, right now, but that's hilarious still. And, uh, fuck your archers. Send our stags around to eventually deal with that. Uh, where am I going to have you guys sit? Um, y'all can move up further. Yeah. There you go. So that's not going to do a whole lot, but it'll do some. I think she uh, miscasted that because she has taken a bunch of damage. It's annoying to improve her miscast rates, chances. And you know what? I would really prefer it if you guys would all murder the uh, the commander first and foremost. He's more important. You definitely see this doing some damage. Oh, there it goes. It's done. Okay. <laughs> Their whole army is basically gone, so yeah, we're, we're good. We've already won. Some of these will probably come back. This will probably come back. But uh, my, my archers are about to slaughter them. That was the plan. You know, lose no one. Seems like that's how it's going to go. It's going to play out, probably. I would like him to be dead forever and ever. For realsies. Let's move up to unit 5. Just move up. Go for it. Shoot as you go, and... Uh, it's not a big deal, this this particular combat. This is the same faction that uh, destroyed that settlement, so, you know, I'm okay with him dying. Fuck your speed. Don't you dare miscast that shit, man. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, they're not going to be able to get away too easily. Definitely don't want this army back on the campaign map, though, so. Um, if all they have left is this one spear herd, I think we'll be okay. Turn off skirmish. I don't want you running away go out too. Stagmite should be able to handle the rest of this. Uh, I'll send an eagle out. If you can wipe out every single person, there's really no reason not to. Um, I think you get more XP off of it as well, so. Yeah, ideally just kill everything. Guarantees no one will come back. Two two units is, uh, th that unit card is destroyed, so it's not going to come back, and this, this unit card's about to be destroyed as well, so there we go. Yeah, we're done. I mean, we knew we'd win that. Not really an issue, but uh, no chances. Not taking any chances with auto resolve, trying to bullshit me out of my <laughs> my hard earned gains. Forty five kills off oh, the twins is pretty good. Fourteen off of the the mage. That's not really a, a surprise. The that 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 sort of curse that I cast down isn't really a high damage kind of thing. It's more of a a debuff and a you know health depleter. It's not going to net you crazy kills or anything. That's why it's not too expensive. Just something you want to throw out every now and then. Uh, it's good for it's good for the speed thing, especially on like a cav unit. You know, 25% speed reduction is pretty pretty solid and you can toss even more spells on it. And of course, the fact that it speeds up the whole map 
uh, all of my units whenever she casts is pretty huge because, you know, maybe I need to run away from an infantry unit. I pop down a 25% debuff on them. That gives all my units 12% of a buff to speed, so maybe a unit that couldn't escape can escape now. I'll go ahead and go for this replenishment to get my branch wraiths back up and running. Moving with grace. Not my branch wraiths, my dryads. Sorry. 8% weapon strength. Eh. It, it's a weapon, I guess. Blades. Not one I'm going to use. Speed plus 6% for the whole army. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Kind of a big deal. For fresh Next turn, we can take out Stordag Core. How long have we been going? 30 minutes exactly. Sounds like a perfect time to call it off. Uh, next turn, we'll probably deal with um, probably an attack on the Temple of Adioth. Whether or not I can defend it, eh, it's up in the air. Maybe, maybe not. But we'll take Storag Core. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, we'll probably come up here and pop down Shrock Tack Mount uh, in the Circle of Destruction. Just going to be campaigning this region, killing things. And um, I'll see you next time for that.